This is The Joe Gaither Show on BamaCentral.com. Good morning, Tuscaloosa, West Alabama. Internet world, how are you doing out there? This is the Joe Gaither Show right here on Bama Central and BamaCentral.com. We're bringing you a bonus Saturday episode because we're having a fun week. It's been a blast of a week. The Crimson Tide have kept us very, very energized. Spring practice going on. The Alabama Crimson Tide had their first scrimmage of the Kalen DeBoer era and qualified for the Elite Eight. So we're bringing you a special Saturday episode. And with it, we're having a very special guest, our first 2025 commit of the new season. We had a bunch of the 2024s on, Amari Jefferson, uh, William Sanders, Casey Poe. We had a bunch of the class of 2024s on as we started our time with Bama Central. And we're going to kick it off the new class, the new cycle, with a class of 2025 Alabama commit, Luke Metz. As always, you can find the show at Joe Gaither 6 on whatever social media machines that you like to find. Twitter, YouTube, Facebook. You can watch the shows at Bama Central on the YouTube channels as well. And, of course, you can subscribe. Subscribe, rate, and review it. The Joe Gaither Show on Bama Central on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or on Amazon. Without further ado, we don't want to make our man wait. Luke Metz committed to the Crimson Tide on March 24th. Four-star linebacker out of Mill Creek, George, Mill Creek High School joins us today. And Luke, it is uh, it is Friday afternoon. I hope your week has gone well. The people will see this on Saturday. How are you doing today, my man? I'm doing great. How are you? Oh, I'm doing awesome. I'm uh, riding a very, uh, riding a wave of excitement after <laughs> Alabama's win last night. Did you watch the basketball game? Are you a basketball fan? I watched a little bit of it. I watched the highlights today. It was a, it was a cool game. So. All right. Uh, do, do, do you like any other sports outside of football? Obviously, football is going to be our main focus here. But do, are, are you a multi-sport athlete? You do anything else? Mm-hmm. I like baseball and I like track also. All right, opening day for the Atlanta Braves as well, I think, isn't it? Uh, so they're getting going this weekend. I think so, yes, sir. All right, uh, that, that's right there in your neck of the woods. We'll yep. see if they can win a World Series. Luke, thanks for your time today, man. I appreciate you joining us. You're the first recruit uh, to uh, all on the 2025 cycle to join us this year. Uh, 51 tackles last year, 10 tackles, 10, 10 for a loss, and five sacks for Mill Creek. Big time linebacker. Just uh, tell us a little bit about your recruitment, obviously, committing to Alabama. Uh, March 24th, you got the Alabama offer under the new regime on March 4th, but you chose the Crimson Tide over LSU, Michigan, Tennessee, lots of other offers. Just tell us a little bit about your recruitment uh, up to this point. Mm, Yes, sir. Um, Kind of growing up, I've always been an Alabama fan. Um, So it it was just special when I got the offers, and obviously I had a, you know, a, a lot of other offers, some good offers. So but it just was a different feeling once I got Alabama, you know, and then once I started talking to Coach DeBoer and Coach Womack, I really kind of um, kind of knew, knew it was the place to be. Well, yeah, Coach DeBoer and Coach Womack, they're, uh, what, three months into the new regime. Mm-hmm. Growing sure. up as an Alabama fan, how did you experience the last couple of months? Obviously, your recruitment is first kind of foremost in, your, in the future of your life. But, like, as an Alabama fan, you're watching a legend retire. What did you make of Coach Saban's retirement and just kind of the, uh, the change that the University of Alabama has underwent so far? Yes, sir. Uh, I was surprised, honestly. I was like, whoa. Put up my phone and it said he was retired. I was like, whoa. So, um, but then I, I just kind of thought about it. And, um, you know, after talking to Coach DeBoer, I wasn't worried at all. You know, they're going to keep the success that Alabama's used to. So, um, you yeah, know, it'll be fun to see. We're talking a class of 2025 linebacker out of Mill Creek High School. Y'all went undefeated last year up until playing uh, up until playing Camden County in the in the playoff game. You came up short. What was it? 12 and one, 13 and one last year. What did uh, you learn last year as a junior? Um, and what did you learn? What, what did that loss in the playoffs teach you about yourself uh, going forward for this next year? Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, definitely learned a lot as a junior. Um, it was great, great. It was a, you know, fun team to play with. It was a great team. We had a really good season. Um, we came up short, you know, in the Camden County game and, you know, just attention to detail. Um, even once you get farther and farther in playoffs is more important, uh, cause the little things matter more once you get farther in the playoffs. So, um, you know, really just staying physical, um, attention to detail. So that's, that's kind of what I learned over the season. Now, Hodgson is just in between, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's just in between Atlanta and Athens, correct? 
Yes, sir. It's around it's around the Buford area. So yes, right. sir. Right. So what's it like growing up with uh, an Alabama fan in, in a hotbed of uh, of Georgia country? <laughs> I saw a well, photo of you and your brother uh, after you committed. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Um, I mean, it, it's been brutal, honestly. But when we win, I make it brutal for them. So um, you know, it's always been cool. Um, you know, kind of the little rivalry rivalry bef- between Alabama and Georgia, you know, those game days were always fun. Um, I was always kind of the odd man out rooting for Alabama, but <laughs> it was okay. So um, it's I've definitely been outnumbered here, but, you know, it's been good and it's turned out good in the end. Well, I'll let you know, both my parents graduated from the University of Georgia, so I feel your kind of uh, rivalry a little bit there from Chattanooga. Uh, They graduated from Georgia with with Herschel Walker and winning a national championship in 1980. So uh, it's a little similarities. Uh, What do you think about it? Now that you're committed to the Crimson Tide, you look ahead to the freshman schedule. You look ahead at Georgia in Athens. Maybe a little Luke Metz on the field in Sanford Stadium? Yep, I'm excited about that. So, um, you know, everybody will be at that game for sure. Excellent. Well, uh, what is the family dynamic like? You, you got a brother. I, I, I saw that on, on your Instagram. Uh, t- tell us a little bit uh, about your family. Mm. Uh, yes, sir. I have an older brother and an older sister, so I'm the youngest of three. Um, they're both out of the house now, older. And then um, it's just me, my mom, my dad here. So it's been um, pretty calm, pretty chill. So it's a good family for sure. Absolutely. Uh, I see you're listed at six foot three, two twenty. One of the articles I'm reading in the last couple of weeks, your position coach Willie Carter uh, compares you to Luke Keekley. What do you make about that comparison? It says, "Oh, he's got a future. He looks like a little. He looks like a, a miniature Luke Keekley." Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, I've gotten those comparisons a lot. I've gotten um, Mac Wilson, uh, Peyton Wilson, um, just a lot of great, great linebackers out there. Um, so it's it's cool to cool to see them thinking about like when they see me like that. So it's definitely cool. How would you describe yourself as a linebacker and as a football player? Mm-hmm. I'd say um, hard worker. I'm tall. I'm fast. I'm physical. I'm really lengthy, which is kind of the new age linebacker type of build. So um, sideline to sideline, very physical, uh, great first step. Um, you know, physicality. I really try to base my game around speed and physicality. Oh, tell us about Willie Carter. How does uh, he get the most out of you? Uh, do, do you like to be coached uh, like really in your face hard, or what, what, what's your preferred coaching style? Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. I like to be coached hard. I've always kind of been coached hard. So, um, you know, if I got if I was stepping on the field and I wasn't getting like chewed out or yelled at, you know, that's I, it would be weird. So, um, you know, I like getting coached hard, and that's kind of why I choose Coach Coach Walmack too. Because um, he's really intense with their practices and very intentional how they do things. Yeah, what's your relationship like with Coach Walmack? We got to see him a couple of times at practice, and he was hollering, getting after everything. It was cool. What's your relationship like with Coach Walmack? It's great. Um, we had dinner and with him, uh, my family, and um, it was just really good. He's, he's a very respectful uh, man and coach, and he's just a great person all around. What do you think about a coach that uh, leaves their head coaching position to take a coordinator role? What do you, what do you think about that? Um, I think it's cool, honestly. Uh, you know, there's a lot of different features going into it, and he knows a lot about the game, obviously. So he's kind of been an overwatcher, and now he's like a, a, a very, you know, specific coach between um, defense and linebackers. So it's cool seeing the, the, new, role, the new role that he's taken on, and um, he's really doing great. A lot of Alabama fans are still trying to get to know the four-two-five defense. So, what can you tell us about the stinger position? Kind of uh, maybe you, your fit in this role. How can you educate the people? What does the stinger do in this Alabama offense? Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Um, the four-two-five. They like to run a lot of blitzes. So, um, you know, I like that. I like blitzing. Um, you know, bigger, obviously taller, lengthier guys there. Um, obviously, you see J- Jahad Campbell and um, Lawson number zero. So. Um, you know, really just sideline to sideline players, super versatile. Um, you know, it's awesome for sure to see. Um, you know, it's a great defense. I, I really like it. So, and it's honestly not too, that much um, different from Saban's, you know, defense. So, um, you know, there's just some different packages and things they run. But, you know, they're, they're going to blitz a lot and get after it. 
we're still getting to know Christian Robinson as well. And while it may not be the exact position coach, they'll be hand in hand with you. What can you tell us about uh, Christian Robinson and uh, in, in the early relationship that you built with him? Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. He was at dinner too. So um, him and his wife. So it was, it was cool. Like the the coaches getting to um, you know show their families and kind of get to know them on a deeper level. So that was really cool. Um, he's a great coach too. He coaches hard. Um, I feel like everybody on that that staff coaches very hard. Um, so he's just a great coach, and it'll be cool to you know get some tips and be coached by him in the future. We're talking to Luke Metz, and he's the first class of 2025 commit on the Joe Gaither Show. In this cycle, you can follow him at one dot underscore Luke Metz on the Instagram machine. Luke, uh, what's your favorite food? You you mentioned dinner. Where did y'all eat? And then maybe what is your favorite food? Yes, sir. We ate at uh, Chuck's Fish, and it was it was really good. Um, I like sushi. I like steak, seafood. Any seafood, lobster, um, crawfish are pretty good. Crab legs, I really like. But I'm a big like what I snack on is fruit. I really like fruit a lot. So, well, Chuck's Fish, you were right in your wheelhouse there with sushi. Uh, they've got some of the best in town, maybe a mile or so away from me. Uh, love eating there on a nice dinner right there. Yes, sir. It's awesome. Uh, so we talked about Luke Keekley. Is that your favorite football player? You got a favorite football player? What, who do you? Who's somebody that maybe? Oh, I want to model my game after that guy. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I, I like to kind of be unique, but someone who I think is a really good player is uh, Deion Jones. I really like him. Uh, Luke Keekley too, but I feel like I'm a little more like um, I can move a little better. Like I'm a little bigger, taller, lengthier guy than him. Um, I like Peyton Wilson. Um, he had a great draft hit the draft day, so that was that was really cool seeing his stock go up. And then um, he's a he's a great guy too. So um, I really like him a lot. A lot of Alabama fans are already familiar with Mill Creek High School from Caleb Downs. Obviously, a couple of classes higher than you. Do you have any relationship with Caleb Downs? What, 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 what's that? What is that like for you? Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. I played with him my sophomore year and um i think i started like eight or nine games so it was cool playing with him and you know being around him seeing the type of guy he is and uh you know he's a good dude hard worker so um it was sad to see him leave but you know he could always come back you never know so we'll see (laughs) it is what it is we wish absolutely wish him the best for in that uh what's something in that sophomore year he was a senior and had great numbers it's absurd uh what was something that maybe he did in his senior year that you're thinking about, okay, I want to pick that up from, from Caleb Downs. Mm-hmm. Um, definitely when he stepped on the field, everybody just kind of like, whoa, that's Caleb. You know, like he didn't, he was respected by everybody, even his opponents, uh, even the opponents, coaches, you know, they all kind of knew how he played and who he was. So um, that's what I'm trying to get to. You said you're a lifelong Alabama fan, so uh, take us back over the last 17, 18 years. What are some of the, like, okay, that's my favorite Alabama moment? Mm-hmm. Oh, definitely um, definitely just watching the Georgia-Alabama um, games. And the uh, my favorite ones were when they played in the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And I'd always watch it with my brother and my parents. And we'd always be yelling and fighting and um, – Definitely, definitely this year was a great year, too, when they, they won the SEC, um, you know, title. So that was cool seeing, um, you know, there's been so many good games um, Alabama's played. So they're a dominant team, legacy, obviously. We talked a little bit about Kane Womack already, but what can you tell us about your relationship with uh, Kalen DeBoer? Mm-hmm. Yes, sir, it's good. Um, we had like an hour talk in his office before um, practice, before I committed. And then um, he's just a really good dude also. Uh, you know, it was cool, like, getting to know him and, um, you know, because I haven't really talked to him too much before that – the week before I visited. Um, I kind of, you know, had a great relationship building with him now. So um, I'm excited the more the more I hear from those guys. Alabama has eight current commits in the class of 2025, and we're talking to Luke Metz. You can follow him on X or Twitter at Luke Metz 25 I want to encourage you guys to do that. Let him know how excited you are about him joining the Crimson Tide class. Luke, do you have any relationship with uh, Duke Johnson, Miles Johnson, or Abdul Sanders yet? Yes, sir. I've talked to them all, um, kind of building the relationship. You know, one of them, you know, Abdul is in 
California, modern day, right? So yeah. um, it's kind of building the relationship. We're going to, he said he's going to let me know when he visits and we're going to meet up. And, you know, it's cool having some teammates already, um, some great ones, some great ball players. So I'm just very thankful for that, that I got some good teammates to work with. All right, so a lot of people when Kalen DeBoer was hired was like, "Oh my gosh, he's from Washington. He's from uh, he's from you know Sioux Falls. He doesn't have any relationships in the in the South. He can't recruit in the South." Now that you're committed, obviously Alabama being your dream school maybe as the backdrop, but uh, now that you're committed, what do you say to those people that oh Kalen DeBoer can't recruit? Mm-hmm. Definitely. Um, I mean, their recruiting has been crazy. Uh, you know, I've had offers from I've had I've offers from Michigan, Tennessee, um, you know, a, a bunch of SEC schools. So it's been they recruit differently. Alabama just recruits differently. They they'll send you videos after practice every day, you know, saying they want you stuff like that. So it's just a different level of connection. It's not just like the they're not just going to reach out and just, you know, say some, some random questions and not answer once you, you know, respond back. So they're genuine about their connections. Uh, Courtney Morgan is a guy we're still trying to get to know here in his first couple of months. Uh, and we, as Alabama media, didn't really know anything about a general manager. He built the Michigan roster, built the Washington roster. Now he's here in Tuscaloosa. What's his role in the staff and how involved was he in your recruitment? Mm-hmm. Yeah, sir. He was pretty involved. Um, you know, more in person type of type of guy. Um, great guy, obviously, and um, he does a very good job of managing the players and the whole nil aspect, and just really managing everything and making it um, like drama free for the coaches, and uh, really letting the coaches coach and the coaches not worry about you know money, this and that. You know, they're they're just focused on starting their best guys and getting them developed. So. Um, he does a great job of, you know, just letting the coaches coach. You talked about being a uh, love of baseball. Are you, the, are you in the middle of, your, of, of a baseball season at Mill Creek? Mm-hmm. I played every year except last. This year is my first year. I'm not playing, you know, just the whole recruiting stuff. And then I played travel baseball too. So it was easier just kind of end it all there and, you know, focus on football and recruiting and, um, you know, just staying busy, obviously. Clearly, obviously. Oh, my, my, that was going to lead into my next point or my next question was what's going to be your goals going into your senior year? You got one more year left in high school. You got a couple of months of summer to get there. But what are going to be, be your goals uh, this coming up year? Mm-hmm. Definitely. I'm, I want to go really deep in the playoffs. I want to win state for sure. Um, you know, I, I just want to get, you know, I already got one ring. I want to get two um, before I'm out of here. Um you know, obviously have a lot of team goals lead to personal goals. So, um, you know, just having a great season with my team. What's 7A high school football like in Georgia? I mean, obviously we're here in Alabama. It's a pretty decent – it's pretty decent high school football. But Georgia, I mean, it's Georgia, it's Texas, it's Florida. Like, tell us about 7A high school football in Georgia. Uh, it's loaded. It's uh, – every week I'll look at the um, the sheet the coaches give us and the, the starting players and – who they all have offers from, and I know that doesn't matter, but wow, like they sometimes you'll even have to go to two papers because you know they've just got some studs, um, five stars all around. Uh, D1 talent, I don't think there's one week where we don't play at least five D1 guys. Um, it's just crazy. Um, obviously, the, the good weeks, Buford and stuff like that, sometimes it's like 20, 15, so it's always packed and loaded, but it's good because, um, you know, a lot of exposure. You get some good film out of it, and you know there's not a, there's not any question of, you know, is this guy good because he's not playing the best talent. You already talked about maybe your length and your speed and physicality as some of your strengths as a, as a linebacker. Maybe what are some of the things that you're still wanting to work on going into your senior year uh, over the next uh, twelve months before you get get to Alabama? Mm-hmm. Definitely block destruction. Uh, SEC linemen are uh, some trees, some some big mountains, so. Um, block destruction, uh, obviously reading, you know, um, just instinctual stuff, you know, little stuff like that, uh, little technique stuff that will works great now, but in college it might might just be okay. So um, just working on little things like that, detailing up my game. When Luke Metz is not playing football and he's not lifting weights, what are some of the things that you're uh, doing to fill your time that you, that you like to do outside of football? Mm-hmm. Um, I like going up to North Carolina, snowboarding, um, 
you know, just simple stuff like fishing, you know, going out with friends, just hanging out, um, playing Madden, stuff like that. Just some some fun stuff to, you know, pass the time and have a little fun. How excited are you? I guess, uh, shoot, <laughs> when was NCAA 2014? I wonder how old you were at that point. How, how excited are you? The new, 20, the, the new NCAA football game coming out, and eventually you'll get your chance to sign up for it as well. I'm excited. Uh, I was happy when it came out because, like, I get to be in a video game? Okay. Okay. So um, I don't think anybody was not excited about it. And uh, everybody, you know, dying to get their hands on it when it comes out. So I'm excited for that. It's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, maybe I'll catch you in one of the lobbies or so. You can follow yeah. Luke Metz at one dot underscore Luke Metz. A couple more minutes with him, the, the Alabama football commit. Luke, what do you think about A-Day? I, thought, I, saw, I was reading that you might be coming back for A-Day. It's in uh, two weekends away, three weekends away, uh, the 13th. Uh, when Coach Saban was here, the first A-Day, 90-something thousand people. And there's rumors and whispers that this A-Day might be the same for Kalen DeBoer. What are you thinking about uh, experiencing that first A-Day? Oh, it's exciting. Uh, ESPN, I heard it was like going to be a hundred, like a packed-out stadium. Um wow you know that'll put the players under some pressure and you know i think coach DeBoer would be like wow i'm i'm glad i came to alabama so um it was exciting uh i'll definitely be back on the sixth and then i'm really really trying to come back on a day um you know see all that crowd and see the vibe and see the environment well just a couple more minutes with you you mentioned nil already uh in a hypothetical world let's just say anything is possible Luke, what would you sign? What are you looking for in Iowa? Well, it's not numbers wise, but like, oh, I want to be with uh, Chevron or with Toyota or what? What, what, what are some of the uh, dream brands you like to wear? This brand, I'm a Carhartt guy. What, 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 what are you thinking about? Uh, opportunities that are endless at the Capstone. Uh, definitely, I like being a like a, a Nike, a Nike person. That would be really cool representing Nike. IHOP would be cool. Um, like low key, like Canes or McDonald's would be super cool too. <laughs> so um, Powerade would be very cool too. Gatorade, you know those type of brands. Uh, that's just a dream. That's cool for sure. Well, good good news for you. Only one Canes in Tuscaloosa, and it's right there on campus. It's a uh, north end of campus. Uh, can't get there enough because obviously I don't, I'm not on campus anymore. But for that first year, you'll have plenty of opportunities to get to Canes. Uh, you obviously check out the dining hall. Speaking of food, <laughs> what do you think about that Alabama football dining hall, the cafeteria? It's it's honestly sick. I mean, I'm glad I'm work. I'm going to be working out and stuff every day. For a lot of time, because um, I'd get fat in there because I can't even I just need some blinders or something if I walk back there because I've got to get at least two or three plates every time I walk in there. So it was, it, it's some good food for sure. You obviously you committed on uh, March, tw March 24th. Uh, are, are you taking on a maybe? What, what, what's your next step in recruitment? Uh, are you taking other visits to other universities? Are you locked in with Alabama? It's all done and dusted. Or are, and, and to that end, are you taking it up upon yourself to maybe help add to the recruiting class? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Um, ever since I committed, I'm done. Um, I wouldn't want to put anything in jeopardy with Alabama. I love it so much, and I, I could like could not see myself going there. I'd cry honestly. So I'm um, definitely not doing that. Definitely committed a hundred thousand percent, and uh, definitely trying to get um, some some good players and here, some better players uh, recruiting. It's it's honestly cool. Like, come on, you know, roll tide. So it's cool uh, talking to other recruits that have us in their our top their top six, and uh, really trying to get them on the boat. Yeah, it's still very early for a lot of the guys. You got a uh, many months. What's it? March. You got till December, really, until everything gets to be super serious. Um, what is what is maybe one of your favorite things outside of the football uh, that you liked about Tuscaloosa? You talked about Chuck's Fish, and, and that's a great restaurant. But uh, you know, the, the, the campus is beautiful. What, what's something about what's non-football related that you like? Oh, I love Alabama for this reason. Mm -hmm. Um. Definitely the campus is awesome. Uh, the culture, the campus, the people walking around campus, they're all cool. 
Um, definitely just the vibe, even from just talking to people who followed me because I committed, uh, very welcoming family. Um, it's not hostile. It's, it's just very relaxed and feels like home. Well, we would like to hear that, especially because we live right here about a mile or two away from the stadium. Luke, it's been a great time talking to you today. Uh, you can make sure you follow Luke on the social medias at one dot underscore Luke Metz and Luke Metz 25 on Insta uh, on uh, X Twitter. Luke, anything else that uh, you think that, uh, the Alabama fan base needs to know about you or uh, is something anything that I should have asked you that you're like, dang, that guy is about me. You should have asked me this. No, I'm good. You've been great. Um you know, obviously, hard worker. I'm going to come in there and give it my all, and I'll do whatever the, the coach asked me to do. So um, just be a great teammate, and uh, I'm excited. You've done a great job, for sure, asking right. the questions. So. Well, we want to make sure all our bases are covered, and, Luke, we want to uh, make sure we keep up with you over the next uh, 12 months before you go behind the Alabama media curtain, uh, and, and, we'll, and we'll keep up with you, Luke. It's been a pleasure this afternoon. I hope you have a great rest of your spring, summer, and a great senior year, sir. Yes, sir. You too. Thank you. Yes, sir. That's Luke Metz joining us today. And I'm really, really appreciative getting to know Luke. You can follow him again at Luke Metz 25 on the Twitter machine or at one dot underscore Luke Metz on Instagram. I'm sure he'd love to hear your support. We're going to get out of here for the day. We're going to get ready. Oh, my gosh. For the Elite Eight matchup, Alabama ticks on Clemson tonight at what? 740, 730. You can follow Katie Wyndham and, ba and Blake Byler as they are out in Los Angeles covering Alabama in the Elite Eight. And oh, my gosh whispers whispers and rumors if alabama defeats the clemson tigers could the joe gaither show be in phoenix next week Ooh, maybe so we'll have to find out we'll see if alabama beats clemson first and you'll be able to follow it right here at bama central and BamaCentral.com. we encourage you to follow the podcast subscribe to the podcast at the joe gaither show on the bama central on spotify apple Podcasts, or amazon whatever you like you can find us right there we'll get out of here for the day and we'll be back uh, to cover it all again tomorrow the next day we'll see if clemson or alabama advances to the final four Thanks for joining us on today's edition of The Joe Gaither Show on Bama Central. Keep up with Joe on all his social media pages at JoeGaither6. Subscribe, rate, and review the show on Spotify and Apple Podcasts, and be sure to read us daily at BamaCentral.com. <laughs>